Welcome to Southeast Alaska, where we are commercial purseining for salmon. This report is based on assuming that you have basic knowledge of the salmon fishery and a common understanding of a fishing vessel. We have been waiting for the boat ahead of us to finish making their set. Right now they are closing up and we are positioning ourselves to make our set. As the skipper positions the boat, there is two deckhands waiting for the skipper signal. One to let the hydraulic cable down that is holding the skiff and the other deckhand to release the clip connecting the skiff to the cable. Once the skiff is let go, the main vessel and skiff go in opposite directions. The skiff is connected to one end of the net and the main vessel will be connected to the net using the same clip that was just released from holding the skiff. The clip will be connected to a pair ring that is located at the end of the net. The pair ring is laid over the bulkhead as the net is brought back on board, preparing for the next set. As the end of the net is about to go overboard, a deckhand shouts to the skipper the remaining length of the net on board. This is measured by fathoms and can be indicated by the yellow and white corks. As I mentioned before, the clip is attached to a hydraulic cable. We release extra cable, which will allow the net space away from the stern. The skiff driver will position itself to a location the skipper has indicated. Fighting against winds and tides that are constantly changing, this can be challenging. The skiff driver and skipper communicate using a headset radio, allowing them to make changes in the set as needed. Generally, sets are made for about 17 to 20 minutes, but can be made much shorter or longer given different variables. The skipper will tell the skiff driver when it is time to close up the set. The skiff will then let go of its position and head towards the main vessel. In return, closing the set. The time for the skiff to meet the main vessel takes about a minute. Once the skiff reaches the main vessel, there is two deckhands awaiting his arrival. One deckhand takes the clip end of the tow line, and the other deckhand gets thrown a rope that is attached to the net. Once the deckhand has the rope, the skiff driver releases the net from a Canadian clip that was used to tow the net. Both deckhands go down opposite sides of the vessel. One deckhand attaches the tow line to the stern of the boat, and the other deckhand brings the net to the winch so he can secure the net on the hook and begin pursing. There's a few things happening here. The net is being brought out of the water by the hydraulic cable. Once the clip on the cable comes on board, the net is attached to the monkey line, and the hydraulic cable is released and then attached to the purse ring hook. The monkey line guides the net over the block and then is released. The end of the net with the pair ring is set over the bulkhead and two deckhands begin stacking the net as it comes on board. The other deckhand is coiling the purse rope as it is being winched on board. As the net is being brought on board, it is the skiff driver's responsibility to keep the stern of the vessel positioned centered to where the net is coming up. Once all the purse rings come together, the purse ring hook gets ran through the center of all the rings. The hook is then elevated above the deck and the rings and purse rope will feed off the hook as its adjoined lead line gets brought out of the water. Just before the fish get rolled on deck, it's a deckhand's job to pull on the webbing to prevent the webbing from slipping through the block.
Once the fish are rolled on board, the skiff is released from the tow line, which was attached to the center of the vessel during the process. The purse ring hook is brought down and released. A cable that was used to hold the net open while the fish are being dumped is also released. The deckhands get back on the seine table and finish stacking the net. One deckhand attaches the skiff back to the hydraulic cable while the other deckhand gets the end of the net attached to the skiff. After everything is ready for the next set, it's time to clean up the deck.